Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just filmed us taking the boomerang. Yes. Hello, friends. Oh gosh, it's so cute. Hello, <laughs> friends. Hi, YouTube. It's been a while since I've vlogged. Oh, Hi, San Lucas. <laughs> Emily's excited. I don't know how to do this anymore. <laughs> I got you. Okay. Tell us what we're doing. We're going to Cabo. We're on a girls' trip, and I figured I would vlog because it's been a little while. Who's and all going to be in the video? Noelle, Emily, Karen, Brandy, and Marie. <laughs> the OG crew. The OG crew. You guys should be very excited. <laughs> and we're staying at a beautiful villa called Casa Mariposa. I can't wait to show you guys. It's gonna be beautiful. Um, we have lots of fun stuff planned. Chips, guac, margaritas, whatever else happens. The huge. I met up with the OG crew, as Amanda said. Oh, yeah. We are heading to. So this place that we're at is quite literally a mansion on the water, a private mansion. And we got this place, we're working with them, reached out to them, it's fucking amazing and I can't wait to show you guys the whole entire tour. It's, it's epic. Okay, ready? Okay, so we step out. My bedroom, I'm staying with Noelle, we're right in there. And we have some chairs. Then we have our infinity pool here. Then we have a hot tub. And then looking out, we're going to a club, so I'm wearing heels. <laughs> and looking out, this whole beach is like, it's just property beachfront. So there's nobody here. Nobody, there's nobody here. Like this whole thing. I don't even think there's anyone staying there. The volleyball net. There's a volleyball back there. It's just white sand and blue water. Oh, I see two humans down there. That's okay, we can play with them. Great! So this is what it looks like. And we're gonna go up there. Beautiful flowers, we got music playing. Here we have dinner area. And this is the big door that we're gonna walk into. This is just like the whole top patio area. Let's head in, just doing a little filming. A little tour. This is Dan, who's our main man for the week. He set everything up. What's your official title? Uh, friend. Okay, he's our friend that helps set everything up. <laughs> he's organizing this whole thing for us. We had um, margaritas ready to go. When we got here, this is the whole like front area. It's a really pretty piece of art. I like that. I'm gonna go find Emily and Karen. Hello, let me in. <laughs> it's Amanda, let me in. Sorry, I have to walk from so far away. Oh, hello, you have to That's walk so from so far away, yeah, do I'm you? just so cute. Look at you. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, we haven't done a girl's trip. Is Karen naked in there or what? No. No? Hi, this is the Pablo Escobar bathroom. This is Apparently. the master suite. The master suite. So this is the bathroom that's the size of our apartment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the lighting's closet. real good right here. Wow. See? It's pretty good. Oh, hello. Tub, shower, closet. Do you like the suit? Yeah, it's really cute. Ravish Sands? Yes. Mine is from Pretty Little Thing. Ooh, I like. And then, so is a skirt. Oh, you look, your abs look really good. Okay, I'll take You need something. a tan. I mean, <laughs> that's the saddest thing. You did put a tan on? I tan last night. That's but okay. That, I, I I've been tanned tan from my birthday. I brought my tan with me because I need to tan again. We are going to be outside the whole time and we're staying a whole extra two days. Okay. How many extra? Two or three? More than two. You think? For sure. We were supposed to leave on Wednesday, but once we got here, we were like, that's not happening. Like the second we walked in, we were like, we're extending our trip. I hope you're available. <laughs> These are cute, right? Yeah, I like those. Outfit number one. <laughs> oh god, bikini. I know, I was like, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> What's up, guys?
guys, Randy. What's up? And Marie's over here. Is she there? Kind of, yeah, she's like hiding. There's her foot. <laughs> we just spent the whole entire day outside on jet skis, and I did not film any of that. So if you guys want to go see us on jet skis, on our boat, on our yacht trip that we went on today, go watch everybody else's YouTube video. We're waiting for dinner, and I'm going to show you guys dinner. We have um, a chef that came to cook us dinner tonight, and I can't wait. Really, really excited about it. The food here is so good. I love Mexican food. So much sun, real tired. It's 6 p.m. now. Karen's giving mom and dad a tour. Aww. Hi. And then um, I'm doing some client work right now. I am just responding to clients. I use this thing called Slack. You guys can't see. It's like, it's like a little instant messenger communication thing. Um, I try to talk to my clients in Influencer Academy. They know it's six days a week. I try to do seven. Um, there's always like communication going on there. So whether or not we're on a coaching call and they have coaching calls twice a week, there's still full access to us so they can work through what they're learning. And it's all about the experiential learning, right? So you're not just learning something on a coaching call or in a video, but you're integrating it into your everyday life and stuff comes up if you're doing it for the first time or if you're just like working through something and you're like, wait, I have this question. So there's full access to, to myself and the coaches through that. The other thing that I wanted to share with you guys is just like a little bit about how all of us are kind of working on this vacation, but not. And I truthfully believe that there is a time and a place for like a full shut off vacation and I am doing that in August. I'm going to Burning Man and I will not have any cell service at all for five days straight. So I will be taking a full vacation then. Um, but this to me, like if I have like time and space, like in the middle of dinner or during the day when everyone's kind of just hanging out, like I'll totally hop on and do a little bit of work. Um, but I do believe in having, if you're an entrepreneur, having like a full shut off mentally vacation. It's so, so, so important. Um, but I am, we all, we all are definitely like using this vacation as like a shut off, but also it's such a beautiful location and like we're going to film some content. It's not like a full shut off. Like I didn't feel like this vacation for me was like a full shut off needed because I know I have one coming up in four more weeks. I don't know about you, Randy. Like what do you feel in terms of like you not fully shutting off for this vacation? Like sometimes there's like a hundred percent no work. Yeah. But how do you feel about that? How do I feel about not working at all? Or like having, being on a vacation and like working a little bit or like not working at all or what? Uh, it's just a part of my everyday life now that since I travel so much, just to come accustomed mm -hmm. to like, uh, when you own your own business, it, you have the luxury to be able to work from here and mm -hmm. you do need to shut off and take some time away, but it's okay. Like I like to feel productive too. So yeah. in the morning, wake up, do a bit of work, like whenever you have time and then knowing that it's okay to shut it down and enjoy it's just like yeah i feel like there's a good balance but there has to be balance yeah i agree yeah. like i love being able to just good. open my laptop and work from here in the middle of this beautiful yeah. house like it's it's the best but i also know that i love being able to create a business that runs without me as well and my team can run some things my coaches can run some things and it doesn't actually die when i am not on um yeah. and that's the goal like that's so something we're all working towards yeah you need to take a, a rest too so yeah. that you can be on your a game yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and like mentally you can come back so much stronger it's like taking a break from the gym um taking like a couple of rest days in a row it really helps you sometimes and you don't even know how much you really need it until you do it. So, long clip. Um, catch you guys at dinner. What is this? This is the tuna poke. Tuna poke? Uh huh. Mango, cilantro, red onions, so avocado, and soy sauce with lime. And this is without because it's the gluten free. Oh, perfect. Okay. Thank you, Raimundo. You're welcome. So there. appreciate it. Thank you. So amazing. Thank you. Mushroom. Cheese, tomato, olives. Oh, this looks so good. Pulling, but trying to twerk. Yes, there we go. Okay, like this little. Dedicated. 
Where we are on our last night. Marie, what's this place called again? Flora Farms. Flora Farms. Oh, look, ice cream! Wow, so pretty. Alright, guys, it's our last night. It's hard to see. Oh, here's a light. It's our last night! Everyone say hi! Hello! Wow, we're going to dinner for our last night. Um, here, we haven't gone to, out to dinner yet. We've just been at our villa, so I'm excited! Oh, man. And M got a margarita pizza with Look at this. Yeah. This is so long. Yeah. Good morning. We are just relaxing, Noel and I, on the beach watching this beautiful sunset. It's so pretty. We woke up and she was like, yo, you gotta go outside. It's beautiful. Hmm. Hey guys, it's our last day. Oh, the sun's right there. It's about 8 a.m. Sunrise is happening. It's our last day. We're headed out. Um, it's been an absolutely beautiful trip. I want to thank Cabo Casa Mariposa. If you guys have a big family, you have a big group, you guys are interested in having quite literally a private beach, a chef, a house manager, a driver, like all of this stuff in this villa is absolutely incredible it's worth it if you have a big group um i think that there's about six or seven bedrooms in here and it's massive it's private it's beautiful there's a pool table like it's just perfect and if you want to do cabo in this like private beautiful relaxing way without going to a resort or anything highly 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 recommend this location this house it's beautiful it's not that bad if you have like a bigger group i just want to thank them because they've treated us so well here lupita and carlos the house manager and the chef they're so amazing they're so good at what they do and they're just like such freaking sweethearts um so thank you guys so much i cannot give this place a better review but this clip isn't about the review it's about you guys it's my first vlog in like months <laughs> it's so weird um for me to do it again but I've really been enjoying it. I know that I can talk quite a bit. I'm used to the podcast now, which I just talk all the time. But I just want to remind you guys that hmm, doing things like going on a vacation or just meditating for 10 minutes a day or doing anything that allows you to peace and quiet your mind is so important. And parts of me have been scared to kind of show up on the vlog again because I feel like someone messaged me this recently and she said, I'm sorry if you can hear all the ocean or whatever. She said that, um, hey boo, that she felt like she was watching my videos and I wasn't my true authentic self. And it's funny because I've just been becoming more and more of my true authentic self. And um, it's not that I wasn't before, I just am becoming more and more of that now. And it might look a little bit different on the outside. I've been going through a lot of experiences, um, going through a breakup, different relationships, reconnecting with friendships, um, going on my business journey, my personal growth journey, my spiritual growth journey. And I haven't shared that with you guys just because it's been a lot really fast. And I've just been worried about being judged to be completely honest. And it's been kind of like funny being on here, you know, still seeing comments 
not that they really get to me. I truthfully like I, I, I like avoid checking them because I see it every day. I, like unsubscribe. You don't do fitness anymore, um, which is totally fine. Like I'm not worried about it. I'm not really worried about my subscriber <laughs> subscriber number anymore. I'm really more worried about the quality of people. If you connect, if you you connect, you connect. If you don't, you don't. That's totally fine. Um, but yeah, I guess I've just been worried to kind of show you guys my new self. So I'll be working on vlogging a little bit more. It's not really like a main priority for my business, but it is something that my soul really enjoys. So I'll be doing it a little bit more often. You'll see. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye.